Hi, my name is Sanjay Prajapati. Both my daughters, Misha and Zoe, have a rare genetic condition called CGD, which affects their ability to fight infections. And the only cure for them is a blood stem cell transplant. For many people who need a stem cell transplant, a 10 out of 10 genetic match is ideal, and most of the time this match is not found within their family. It comes from volunteer stem cell donors, often from a similar ethnic background. Sadly, in our case, we haven't found a good match for the girls within our family or on the registry. And so I will be the blood stem cell transplant donor for both my daughters. As a father, I'm only half a match for the girls, and this is not ideal, but we're hoping for the best because we can't afford to wait. Unfortunately, only a minority of patients in need of a stem cell transplant have a suitable match in their family. And so for that other three quarters, we need to look for volunteer donors. It's very important to increase the ethnic diversity of the stem cell registry because in association with that, we increase the likelihood of finding good matches for all patients. So the procedure is done by first administering to the donor of a medication so that the stem cells basically circulate in the donor's bloodstream for a few days and that gives us this great opportunity to collect them through this apheresis procedure. So this is day three for my Neupogen injections. I'm just about to take my, my third injection and then the last one tomorrow. Hi, good morning. Today's family here, it's Tuesday morning. I'd like to head on to our train. I'm here in Brampton all the way downtown. Hopefully everything works out today. The donation day, uh, they would have a blood test to ensure that their blood counts are ready to start the procedure. The stem cell collection procedure is generally done by apheresis. Apheresis allows us to be able to collect cells that normally reside in the bone marrow and small amounts are introduced into the bloodstream and then we're able to simply access that donor's bloodstream by a small cannula in a vein. So the marvel of the apheresis procedure is that you're only spinning off and collecting and retaining the cells that you want to collect. And we are able to then return those cells, particularly the red cells that uh, the donor needs and we can successfully return them very safely. The apheresis procedure itself, donor is awake, generally feeling well, and many donors resume work or their usual activities by the next day. Having seen the whole process that we just went through today, it didn't take a lot from me, knowing that you're helping someone and knowing that you really can save a lot of people's have. Yeah, I encourage everyone, whether you think you're a potential donor or you will be a potential donor in the future, I would just encourage everyone to register, uh, to sign up and, and be a part of the registry.